this week I'm at Pullout Out Mantanani on a turtle rodeo. My name is Bertie and this is Borneo from below. Turtle, take it, take it! Today I'm joining world-leading turtle expert Dr Nick Pilcher and his team from the Marine Research Foundation on a turtle tagging trip up to Pulau Mantanani off the coast of Borneo. We're out on the hunt right? and we're looking for turtles. You see these rocks down here? Yeah. They're probably rocks. Okay. But when they move, good chance they're a turtle. Why are we catching the turtles? Uh, this, this allows us to, to figure out whether they're male or female and allows us to keep track of how the population is doing. Why do you use this method to catch them? Uh, if, we, if we strung a net, we, we'd be waiting hours and hours and hours for them to just happen to swim into it. And like this, it's, it's fairly shallow. We can drive around, we spot them moving, chase after them, jump in, catch them, bring them back to the boat. It's much faster. Does it cause any, the turtles any distress? No, not really. You know, they, they obviously Nobody likes being caught by a big, huge person in a black wetsuit, but, um, you know, they, they recover very quickly. Take it! Take it! Take it! Ah! My moment of glory and I missed! Because of refraction, it looks so much closer than it actually is. so much harder than it looks. Nick, what am I doing wrong? You're not catching them. So how did you end up doing this for a living then? I was doing work in the Middle East, in Saudi. Yeah? Yeah, Saudi Arabia, back in, back in the 90s. And, um, Working on nesting beaches, turtle comes up, missing a rear flipper. Mm -hmm. And so she's, she can't dig the clutch. And so every time she goes to dig down with one flipper, I reach down with a hand and dug out the sand. She dipped down with a flipper, I dipped down with a hand. And, and so eventually we, we, we figured out how to make a nest between us. I've been doing turtle work ever since. What are some of the biggest threats that they face around here? I would say overfishing followed by overfishing, followed a close third would be overfishing. People go out fishing to earn a livelihood and accidentally these turtles end up in their nets. But there are solutions to some of those things. What do you think those solutions are? Well, for shrimp trawl nets, one of the greatest one is turtle excluder devices. It's a little grid that fits in the middle of the net Fish and shrimp go through the bars and end up at the back, so the fisherman gets his catch. But a turtle hits it and goes out through a flap. And, and so the turtle lives, fisherman gets his catch, everybody's happy. And lastly, what I'd like to ask is, do your family and friends think that you're completely mad? Yes. We at Borneo from below think that you're mad too, but we also really, really appreciate the work that you're doing. You're a good and man. And long may it continue. Excellent, thanks, Nick. All right, so can we have yeah, dinner? No, no, let's cook. All right, well, so got... that's, that's my job. <laughs> okay. Okay, it was only a pinch me. <laughs> it's only small, but they all count. 
After catching my first turtle, I get a grip of things, if you'll excuse the pun, and manage to catch several more. So we've got eight turtles in total. Nick seems very happy and now let the science begin. So we're going to measure and weigh all the turtles. Then we're going to use the laparoscope and determine if they're male or females. So why do you put these tags on? If we recapture the turtle, we know which one it is. But these turtles eventually leave here and they go off to somewhere else. But one day somebody will see the tags and notify us. There's an address on the back. Then we can work with whatever government is involved and say, right, let's see if we can protect that area. And then they get protected of all the parts of their life cycle. Mm. Through his work, Dr. Pilcher discovered a high number of females in local populations. Strategies have since been put in place to increase male turtle numbers and restore a healthy sex ratio. Tagging trips like these at Pulau Mantanani, plus Nick's work with turtle excluded devices, are helping to save turtle populations here in Borneo, which in turn is benefiting turtle numbers worldwide. Want me to show you the proper way of catching turtles? Easy as that! Woo. 